today. Mm, we have coffee. a we have a long day drinking our coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Mm. And uh, we, what we're making today is mm. spicy Korean pulled pork sandwiches. Yum. Mm. So the first thing that you will need to do is put your dry ingredients together in a bag so that you can um, mix everything together. So we have about a pound and a half of pork loin. Mm -hmm. and, or you can use a pork shoulder. Um, either way, what happens when they cook for a long time is that they become very tender and you can pull it apart. We need some onion powder. We need about a half a tablespoon of that. Is that enough? Yep, that's good. We need about an eighth of a cup of brown sugar. Now I have, um, and then you need a half a cup for reserve for later on. Um, a garlic powder, you need about a tablespoon of that. <laughs> And then some salt and pepper for flavoring. Salt, pepper. And then of course your Korean red pepper flakes. What are, what are they called in Korean again? Guchgaru. 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 And basically you take all of this and you seal it up very tight so mm -hmm. that it doesn't make a mess because we're in our suits. Okay. Right? Do you want to shake it around, G? And then like massage it and oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm massaging now. Yeah. No, yeah. no, you're not a good massager. No. <laughs> So, I mean, the beauty of this is, is wow. honestly, you can keep this in your refrigerator overnight mm -hmm. and then just pop it in the crock pot in the morning. So while this is kind of marinating, let's put the wet ingredients okay. together because we're going to pour that on top before we leave so that mm. your, your loin doesn't burn. So we'll just put this on the side for The wet ingredients is a quarter of a cup of vinegar. Just mm -hmm. your regular white vinegar. Chong, go regular white vinegar, gochi chung. You need uh, the rest of your brown sugar. How much gochujang do we put? You put a half a cup of uh, gochujang in there. Yeah, or a, qu a quarter of a cup of gochujang sauce. Yes. Uh, and it's also, you know, to taste. So mm. I like it spicy. You, then you can put a little bit more no, in if you want. I think that's good. Okay. Because we good. put a lot of the red pepper flakes in there. Mm. Your wet ingredients. Ooh, it smells, like, yeah, so vinegary. yeah, it's it's good. It's mm. really good, and I think it just helps absorb into the pork. What about the water? That's gonna go in last. Okay. So basically, you set your crock pot, your slow cooker, on low. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to be gone all day long, this can cook seven to nine hours. Wow. If you're gonna do this on a Saturday, you can do it. To, you can put it together at noon and put it on high for about five hours. Okay. And then it'll be done for dinner. Okay. So you take your crock pot and basically you throw your pork loin in. Mm -hmm. It's all nicely marinated in the dry seasoning. And then you put your mixture right on top. Mm -hmm. And then basically you just pour the water on the side. Just put the lid on and you head off to work. And it's as easy as that. So I'll see you tonight, Gina. Shut up. And we will be enjoying our pulled pork sandwiches. We'll see you after work. Hey G, how was your day at work? Hi honey, I'm home. Yes, it's been a long day, very stressful. So we're ready to put together our Korean pulled pork sandwiches because it's been cooking in the slow cooker mm. all day long while we've been at work. Mm. And we have our beers in hand, ready to enjoy what our sandwiches. Day. I know, seriously. Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Ooh. That smells good. Ooh, it looks so good too. Oh it's gosh. been simmering all day. Basically, you would use tongs to pull it out, but I can't find the tongs, so I'll mm. just use these and pull them out onto a plate. So they're like very, very tender. Ooh, look at that. Yep. And we toasted our buns already in the oven. Mm. And then basically keep the sauce because we're going to be pouring that on, on top. later Ooh. on. Exactly. And you just take two forks and you basically pulled pork. You just start pulling it apart. And wow. And how long is this? Ooh, look how, how beautifully it yeah. breaks into like. Yes, please. Please taste it and see. Mmm. Oh my god. Are all the flavors Yum. Mel melded Yum. in there. Yum. Yeah. So basically you just take this and you keep pulling and pulling. And then what you're going to do is mm -hmm. you're going to pour the sauce on the spoon it's here. It's spicy. Yes. It's got, a, it's got a kick, huh? Mm. And you pour the sauce on. And then dressing is very easy. You just take your toasted bun. Mm -hmm. And you place Ooh. the shredded pork on the bun. Oh. You can eat this with a side salad or whatever. Mm. And it would go perfect with some roasted corn or something like that, a corn salad. Mm -hmm. You can also do this wet mm. and pour the juices on top. 
And there you go. You have your Korean pulled pork sandwiches. Spicy. Very good. So easy. So easy. You're ready to eat. Yay! Mmm. Oh, How is it? Awesome. Mm. Awesome. So please enjoy and join us next time on the.